good day, and welcome to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotion of Peakling United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. I'm John Vest. I'm one of the ministers here at the church. How is your outlook, your outlook on life? Is it pretty good? Is it pretty crappy? Do you get up most days with an excited, it's morning, God? Or do most of your days begin with, oh God, it's morning? Is your midday break about looking back at what you've done in order to anticipate what the next half of the day will detail? Or is that lunch break akin to the groundhog who sticks his head out of the ground for a few moments hoping no one's going to watch him? At the end of the day, do you go home or do you get home? Now, I'm, I'm playing with words to get to my point, but going home sounds a bit like punishment to me. It's, it's time to leave when I'm doing and go to that apartment, go to that house, go to that group of people, and for what purpose? But getting home sounds more like a reward. In the baseball movie, The Rookie, pitcher Jim Morris, played by Dennis Quaid, has his dreams of playing baseball at the major league level renewed when he rediscovers basically a boy's love for the game. And with eyes full of life, he says to another player, do you know what we get to do today? We get to play baseball. Are you getting what you want out of life? How's your attitude? How's your outlook? The beloved host of the preschool program, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Reverend Fred Rogers once said, I believe that appreciation is a holy thing. That when we look for what's best in a person we happen to be with at that moment, we're doing what God does all the time. So in loving and appreciating our neighbor, we're participating in something sacred. It makes a world of difference to move from acknowledging what you don't have to acknowledging and being thankful what you do have. Many years ago, I chose church attendance as my discipline for Lent. That may sound strange to you, that a church pastor would, would do that, but while I do try to worship and praise God through my work on Sunday mornings, it's also good to come to church to simply receive what God might have for you that day, to not make it happen, so to speak, but to simply come hat in hand, heart exposed, and through the singing of the hymns, the praying of the prayers, hearing the scripture read to you and not by you, and then take a journey with the preacher of the day that might carry you to some distant place in your soul. Well, don't we all need that? Just as a good therapist should engage in some personal therapy, I think a good minister should allow himself or herself to be ministered to. So, I went every Sunday at 4 o'clock to the chapel of Hollins University where Chaplain Jan Fuller Carruthers had become a friend. Her benediction at the end of each service continues to touch my heart. May you accept life as a gift and live your life in such a way that everyone about you will know that you are grateful. Sometimes that's all that's left, life. There's the air you breathe, the sun that shines, the snow that replenishes the earth, and the God who makes all of it possible. I don't know your situation. These daily devotions have actually found their way to both Ukraine and Russia, so I would never pretend to know what you're going through. Amid all that is wrong right now, and there is a great deal wrong in the world, if you believe in God, there's always hope. The Bible says God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. The light of hope says to the darkness, I beg to differ. The Bible also says God is love. And the only way hate and evil win is when we stop believing in the God of love. Sometimes the thing we need to hear the most is not some pithy throwaway saying like, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Sometimes what we most need to hear is hold on. Hold on to yourself. Hold on to the people you love. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to God. 
give light and love the time God needs to do godly things. Hold on, my friend. Hold on. Amen. Thank you.